there's so many AI coordinate assistant and AI agents, and it's so hard to choose and understand which one suits you the most. And in this video, I'm going to explain you about the most popular AI coordinate assistant and agents. Hey guys, my name is Watt and welcome back to my channel. I'm really, really happy to see all of you again today. You probably haven't seen me for a while in the camera and I hope you already miss me. If yes, please uh, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a lot of useful information. If you are struggling and you don't know what AI coding tools to choose, this video should help you. Of course, there is no tool that suits everyone. So you have to select the one that you like the most. And of course, your choice will depend on pricing, your technical knowledge, and other things during your evaluation phase. If you are ready to explore with me all these cool AI coding tools, then let's get started. The first tool in my list is GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is a plugin for VS Code, Visual Studio, and JetBrains. Currently, it supports two modes, Ask an Agent. It also allows you to select different models. This tool is great for day-to-day -day coding. It will help you with auto-completion, writing boilerplate, suggest some fixes, and you even can use it as an agent. So if you are familiar with development and VS Code IDE, then definitely give a shot to GitHub Copilot because it has free plan, so you can play with it and see if you like it. There are also Pro and Pro Plus plans. However, from the beginning, I think you should start with the free plan. And if you're a student, GitHub actually has a special program for students that allows you to use Pro Plan for free. In order to get this, simply visit the website from the link in the description, fill the simple form, and that's it. And if everything will be okay, you will get free Pro Plan. At the end of 2025, GitHub Copilot also introduced CLI. It's a basically AI system inside the terminal. It means by having just one subscription, you can use two different tools, one inside your ID and another inside your terminal. If you are not the beginner, then definitely try GitHub Copilot and share with me your thoughts in the comments below. The next tools in my list is a Google Gemini Code Assistant and Gemini CLI. These tools are very similar to the previous one. Gemini Code Assistant is an extension for VS Code and Gemini CLI is a AI assistant for the terminal. Like GitHub Copilot, Gemini Code Assistant works only with Gemini models, so you won't have access to, for example, GPT models or Anthropic models, but for some of your tasks it might be enough. It has extension for VS Code. Code, JetBrains, Cursor, and other IDEs based on VS Code. I have a dedicated video about this tool. If you want to know a little bit more details, please watch it. Here's the link. So basically with these tools, you have the ability to use it as a chat or as an agent. It could help you with auto-completion, with boilerplate code, with refactoring, with the testings, and other basic coding tasks. And in order to use them, you will need to have some basic knowledge about programming, about IDEs, extensions, and so on. So it's a not the tools that you can run in the cloud. So you have to set up everything on your local computer. The same thing for GitHub Copilot. The cool stuff is that the tools are free for individual users. You have around 6,000 code requests per day. It's actually a lot. It's definitely more than enough to evaluate the tools and see if you like them. As I said, you can use both tools, the assistant in VS Code and Gemini CLI. Most of the time I'm using Gemini CLI as an agent, but the only disadvantage is work on your, on your local machine. It means if you assign some task, your computer always have to be on. And if you're a student, I have good news for you. Gemini CLI and Gemini Code Assistance, you can get completely free for one year. Leave the link under the description for this video. It's actually not only about Code Assistance. You can use Gemini LLM as well. Everything will be for free for a year. The next tool in my list is a Replit agent. This tool is actually really good for vibe coding. At least if you are a really beginner, you don't need to set up any local environments on your computer. Everything is working on the cloud and the most of tasks you will be doing by 
using simple English language. You almost don't need to have any technical knowledge. The agent can generate full stack application just from natural language. I have dedicated video about Replit. I think this tool is good for beginners and for those who want to build and deploy app quickly inside the browser. As you could see, they also have free plan and core plans start from 20 USD per month. So if you are really new and you want to create your first application, you definitely could try Replit because this tool not only allows you to build application, but also deploy it because not every tool allows you to deploy the application. And I think it's very essential part because without deploying, nobody will see your tool. So as you could see, by just using simple English, without set up any local environments on my machine, I can create this simple website. Of course, it's not available for public yet because I have to deploy it, but I think you get the idea. And another cool stuff is that you can share this application with other developers and they can work together on it. It means you don't have to worry about GitHub and other source control systems. Okay, the next one in my list is a uh, JetBrains AI Assistant. If you're a JetBrains user, the AI Assistant offers smart code completion, block generation, next edit predictions, so on. So if you're a Java developer, probably you're really familiar with JetBrains and this AI Assistant for you. It also has the agent that can convert natural language into code, generate tests, and insert some documentation if needed. The good things of AI Assistant from JetBrains, you can select different models from OpenAI, Android. Gemini or even local models via Olama. Unfortunately, there is no free tier. The cheapest plan is $100 per year. So like I said, if you're a Java developer and you connect it to JetBrains, definitely look at this option because it's one of the options that allows you to work with offline models. They actually introduce free tier a very limited free tier for individual developers. So you have three AI credits per 30 days. So give it a shot and share with me your feedback and comments below because I'm curious to see how much people like this AI assistant. The next in my list is a Codex and Codex CLI. So basically Codex in AI programming agent available through ChatGPT it can read and edit files, run tests, and propose pull requests. So Codex work in the cloud and it's connected to your GitHub account and Codex CLI working inside your terminal with your file system. And it also has access to GitHub via MCPs. So basically by subscribing on ChatGPT Pro subscription, you will get ChatGPT chat, Codex in the cloud, Codex CLI, and Codex CLI in VS Code. So actually a lot of tools. And in my experience, Codex work in pretty, pretty good. Like I said, you can run Codex in the cloud and then you don't need to set up any local environments on your machine. It means you can access to the code almost from any machine from any part of the world. It works closely with your GitHub account and manage different repositories, can create branches, can do code review and other cool stuff. So if you are looking for conversational agent that can operate in isolated sandbox and can handle complex tasks, like for example, implementing new features, refactoring large code base, writing unit tests for all the code base, it is really great tool. Some people highlight privacy concern, but you can turn off training in the settings and everything should be okay. So again, if you're familiar with coding with the terminal, GitHub and cloud, then definitely give a shot to Codex because it's available with ChatGPT Pro subscription so you don't have to spend extra. If you are completely new, then probably Codex is not the best one because you will still need to handle the deployment part by yourself, even if you can build something with Codex and deployment part could be also complex. If you will love Codex and at certain point you will face some limitation, you can always upgrade the plan to Pro that costs $200 a month and then your life will be much easier. However, this is big expense, so make sure to evaluate the tool pretty well before you subscribe to these kind of plans. The next tool is a cloud and cloud code is one of the most popular coding tools among developers nowadays. So basically cloud code is a terminal based assistant. So you need to have some knowledge about terminal because everything will be there. So cloud code can plan features, write code, debug errors, search code base and run different shell commands. You can assign to agent to refactor entire code base and it will do it for you. And cloud models are so good at coding. That's why I think this is one of the most popular tools in the market. 
So if you are super new, don't know how to stop local environments, don't know how to use terminal, probably is not the best tool for you. But if you're a programmer that at least has some knowledge about the terminal, then definitely give a shot to the cloud because inside the terminal you can run multiple agents that can work on your code base, develop features, fix in bugs, run unit tests while you are drinking coffee. And this is pretty, pretty good. The only disadvantage is that Cloud Max subscription costs $200 or the cheapest version $100. And without this subscription, using Cloud without facing limitation will be really challenging. However, if you do a lot of coding, definitely give it a shot because it's one of the best. And the good news also can set up VS Code extension that allows you to use VS Code and Cloud Code together. The next tool in my list is a WinSurf. WinSurf is an AI native ID that uses a cascade system to maintain the contacts across your code base and provide live generative assistance. It offers generative auto completion, live preview of code change, deep code search, MCPs, and super complete that suggests you the next actions. So if you heard about Cursor, WinSurf is kind of the same thing. In my previous testing, I found out that WinSurf quite good at coding. If you are interested to learn more about WinSurf, please watch this tutorial. It is probably doesn't suit complete beginners and it will require some local setup. So if you need solution in the cloud, then you should look at another options. In terms of pricing, WinSurf has free tiers. You can test the tool for free. The next plan starts from 15 US dollar. I didn't highlight it, but WinSurf also has the agent that allows you to build uh, any applications by using natural language. So if you are interested about new things, definitely give a shot to WinSurf because I think this tool is really interesting. The next is a Cursor. Cursor is a fork of VS Code, but with the AI moving into its core. I would say Cursor was one of the first who introduced aging mode. That's why this ID became so popular. So it has all the functionality that different AI system has. So basically there is auto completion, next code predictions, agent mode, command execution, and another interesting thing is a background agent. Cursor allows you to select between different models. They have their own models, plus you can use the one from OpenAI, Antropic, or Gemini. So if you are looking alternative to VS Code IDE, but at the same time you don't want to change your learning curve, so you can choose Cursor because the interface will be very familiar. And in the past, combination of Cursor plus Anthropic models was one of the best for coding tasks. However, things are changing so fast, I would recommend you to evaluate and see if this combination is suit your needs. In terms of pricing, the cheapest version is $20 per month, but you also have free tier where you can test Cursor absolutely free. Unfortunately, they don't have anything in the cloud, everything you have to do in your local environments. The next tool in my list is a Mistral Vibe CLI. It's actually pretty new. It is an open source command line agent powered by DevSteel 2 model. So if you are looking for some uh, cheap alternative to Gemini CLI, Cloud Code, or Codex CLI, you can take a look at Mistral Vibe CLI. The cool thing is that you can use local models that could work directly from your computer. It means all your data will be with you. Keep in mind that if you want to run local models on your machine, you would need a powerful computer. If you want to know a little bit more about this tool, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make the video about it. In terms of pricing, for students it's just six US dollars per month. For pro plan, and $15 for normal users. They also have free plan, so keep in mind you can test it absolutely free. And the last one in my list is a Google Anti-Gravity. This is new things from Google, AI native IDE that work based on Gemini models. Think of it as a Google's answer to Cursor or WinSurf. It's not just an AI assistant, but it's an IDE where an agent can plan, reason, write, test, and iterative code across your projects. One of the cool things of this IDE, it actually can test your application inside the browser. It can click the button. It can understand the visual part of the project. I think for front-end developers, this is really must-have ID. You can take a screenshot of the application, highlight the problem spark, and ask ID to fix it. I have a 
dedicated tutorial about Google Anti-Gravity where I show the full power of this ID. The good thing is it's completely free, at least at this point. So definitely give it a shot because I think it's one of the most interesting IDEs so far. It is available for Mac, Linux and Windows so you can play with it and see if you like it. But like I said earlier, if you're a front-end developer, then I think it's must-have tool. And that's probably it. And that's it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends and colleagues. It will help me a lot because I need a lot of subscribers. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.